Yo, what's good guys? It's JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Nomi Spend Road to Glory. And there is a hell of a lot going on here today. We have hit level 36. We're at 90, or just shy of 90,000 XP, which is fantastic. So level 36 essential board this year gives us 12 picks. I've already got the grand prize. Don't need to worry about that. So hopefully we can just make ourselves some good ass MT. Speaking of MT... I have no MT, but it's all good because Dwayne Wade has sold, we've got a hint to cash in, and right now, DeMar DeRozan is in the process of selling. But I'll come back at the end of this video and we'll cash him in because he should sell. Diamond contract, diamond three-point shoe, should sell for 100k? I hope so. I have made some really big inroads in the card collector level. Last time you guys saw this account, which is a few days ago, I think, or literally like two days ago, but it feels like a long time. We were under 500. We're now at 643. So we're making a lot of purchases, and I'm going to tell you guys what I've been prioritizing, what we've been going for. We've taken the Amethyst player pick from 500 cards. We've already sold that. We're going to cash that in, and we've got the locker code from down here, Wilkins option pack, and we've also got to cash in or lock in Diamond TJ Warren, because Diamond TJ Warren is done. All those Evos from the first set of domination completed. So, plenty to do. Let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos and check out Facebook for the daily streams, facebook.com slash JD crossover. So, dailies today. We need to do a few more bits here, but we'll have those done by the second half of this video. We have bought Ray Allen, so that's where some MT's gone. We picked up Ray Allen. 13 of 50 challenges or threes done in challenge games. So, he will get completed for a thousand XP, which is all right. Uh, what have we done? We did the Dwayne Wade stuff, as you guys know. Prime time, we've done Larry Keenan, Rick Smith, and Gerald Wallace. We do need to do De'Aaron Fox, as he's not too expensive. CB and AI, pretty damn expensive. And then yesterday, we had the brand new week three, part two. Today, we'll have week three, part three, which again, I'll show you guys in the second part of this video. Straightforward, win two games, 13 original owners, tennises with a holo card, and 20 boards with centers. So, that is nice and straightforward. Down here, we're getting there. Only three things left in the Northwest. The most we've got to do in any division is the Pacific and the Atlantic, needing eight more uh, items to be done. So we'll get there, and that's going to be some good stuff for the card collector level, where we are now two cards away from the gold, silver, ink ball. So what have we got along the way? We have picked up... Uh, the Amethyst Player Option Pick Pack, uh, the Blue Camo Ball, and Ruby Chang Fry, who we've got to add into the collection in a little bit. I really want to make a move for these uh, rewards this year. They look awesome. Amethyst Michael Cooper looks fantastic. We move down, Diamond Shoe and Boost. I'm not mad at that. 25k, thank you. Hall of Fame Badge Option Pick with Hoff Blinders in it. Yes, please. 60 tokens, Slick Watts, Diamond Contract, Danny Manning, 35k. Diamond Shoes, Diamond Shoes, Pink Diamond, 175 tokens, Mystery Player 75k, and then the main ones for me this year, five Diamond Contracts and five Hall of Fame badges. That is 150,000 MT and five Hoff badges. Lovely. 500 tokens, 100 cards for a Diamond Shoe and Boost refill pack. Oh my god. Another 150k. 750 tokens, mystery players, 250k, Dirk, and of course you get 80 Hoff badges at the end there. So, collector level reward is really damn exciting this year. How long is it going to take to get there? Probably all year, but it's very exciting nonetheless. So, triple the offline, we are just five or six games away. I can do maths. Six games away from Amethyst James Silas. Down here, we've made some progress. Spotlights are underway. We have got through the first seven challenges Next up is just a 40-point triple threat game, which is not too shabby at all. So we will have Diamond Luca in the not-too-distant future. And when we get the spotlights done, we'll probably hit 100 wins to triple the offline. And I think we need to start focusing in on the draft, which I have done. And as you can see, it's a whole stinker. That is not the good Kawhi. That is the trash Sapphire Kawhi. Tom Gugliota, T. Ross, Rudy Gobert. It's not... A great draft, and the bench unit is horrendous. So I don't even know if I'm going to win many games in that draft, but I guess we'll find out. And then I do want to get ML Carr from Triple the Online because I've heard really, really damn good things about him. Let's get Ruby Channing Fry out of this pack. We'll then cash in or lock in TJ Warren, and that's going to hit 650 cards for us. So we'll hit another uh, another card collector level, which is awesome. So these Evos really weren't too bad at all. The Plum was a bit of a pain because he's very slow. Maxi Kleber just could not shoot in domination, but as soon as he goes to the offline, he was fine. 
who was the steals? Harrison Barnes trying to get steals wasn't the best, but in general, they were all all right, and they really didn't take me all that long to do. And that gives us Diamond TJ Warren. And there we go. My team goal achieved. Collect 650 cards. And there we go. There's another Diamond added to the collection. And I've actually heard really good things about this TJ Warren. Those good things were a few weeks ago when people got him in the first few days. I obviously haven't managed to do it that quickly, but I still feel like we are on a pretty good pace this year. So there he is, small forward, power forward, and I'm pretty sure he can go on to my bench in the best lineup here. Mm, yeah, we can take out Jalen Green, and we can put in TJ Warren. Pretty good. Look at that main squad coming together. Main squad coming together very nicely, and that is with Louis Dampier, Kelly Chapuka, and Marquez Johnson. Not even... In the squad, and Jamal Murray as well, not even in the collection. Right, let's get one more card added, and we'll move over to the Ascension board. We'll open this first, and then we'll move over to the Ascension board. Actually, I'll tell you guys what I've been buying first, because like I said, I've spent quite a bit of MT on all of these uh, card items. So, what are we going for? Players? Yes, but not really. 700 MT for golds and emeralds. I'm not paying more than 700 MT for any card. Man, I don't think that's a bad price. Uniforms are so expensive. Haven't even touched them yet. It's mainly stuff down here. So arenas. Yeah, we've got loads of these bronze ones locked up. Loads of these. Playbooks as well. Plenty of those. I've got every logo in the game now, apart from one, the Raptors. Basketball's got all the bronzes, couple of silvers, and then historic court floors. Again, got a lot of those. 250 MT for everything. That's it. Could never buy it cheaper. 250 MT for everything. I'm bidding 300 and then getting like 100 MT or 50 MT back as a refund. You can see here I'm bidding on a couple more playbooks, a couple more arenas here, and then try and bid on the clamps as some investments for Mellow. That's what I've been doing. And uh, now we're going to get our MT up a little bit because let's add in these three more items. But you can see right there, it's a big boy sale. So two things here. Rip Hamilton was from the Amethyst option pick at 500 cards. He was the most expensive, 11,000. Thank you. We did Gerald Wallace's XP, sold him back 15 and half K, easy life. And then our signature series signed Dwayne Wade, 122,000 MT. We actually made 10,000 MT profit from Dwayne Wade. I'm not mad at that. And then hopefully we'll be able to add on 100k from Damar later on tonight. And that'll get us to about 220,000. But yeah, all I did when I was buying cars, just came to coaches, enabled, put this at like 500, see if anything's there, and then just bid on it for, for cheaper than the actual buyout. And as you can see, there's not much left that I haven't got for very, very cheap. See there, see I looked at 500 and then I bid on it. And they're the only two that I uh, need to get there. Arenas, none left. Playbooks, might be some. There's a few up, but they're all 500, and as you can see, they don't have bids enabled. So 250 for a Cavs playbook, sure. It's never, ever going to get cheaper than that. We'll take that one as well. Blazers as well. Easy life. And that is a few more cards added to our collection already. And then, uh, do we buy Pistons? I don't know. I might have done. I've definitely bought quite a few duplicates, I'm not going to lie. We have bought quite a few duplicates along the way. And then we can bid 250 on these. If they slip through, they slip through. If people buy them for 500 MT, I really don't mind. I really don't mind. 07 cows is already there. Cool. And then logos, nothing. And then ball cards, I don't think there'll be anything here. There's one for 350. So we'll leave that. So that's what I've done. And that is what I'm going to continue to do as we get that card collector level higher and higher. Because like I said, that's really exciting for me this year. Right, Accenture board, please be exciting. 12 picks to go. Final essential board of the season. We've already got Marquez Johnson, so we don't need to worry about a grand prize. But on this board so far, we've had no Amethyst players. We've had no diamond contracts, no diamond consumables. We ain't had nothing. So, please, give me some good things. A shoe pack is not a good thing, but it is a plus one, so I'm not mad at that. 300 MT. Okay. 250 MT. Okay. Come on, diamond contract. Where's this out? What one token? Well, I'll tell you what, the draft essential board is so much more profitable. The draft essential board is on a different level. There's spots of thousand MTs, which we actually get, but there's five tokens, ten tokens. I don't know if they exist on this essential board because uh yeah. It's not been good to us so far. We did get the grand prize, and emerald player pick is not it. We've got the grand prize, but other than that. It's been pretty miserable. Two extra picks is good. We're still alive with six picks to go. It's another 400 MT. So right now we're looking like we've made 2,000 MT. 
from level 36. A diamond consumables pack, that's more like it. Please be a diamond contract in it. Another emerald player pack. I guess I'm not mad at the player packs. At least it's something. It's some type of MT. It's a card that I hopefully don't have and that I don't have to buy. Two tokens, but it's a plus one. Okay. Another one token. Good. Four picks to go. We haven't got many cards to uh, flip here. A sapphire player pick. If you could give me a ruby or an amethyst, that'd be great. Another 1,000 MT. I guess I've got to be happy with that. We've hit 1,000 MT twice. I think we made about 3,000, 3,500, 4,000 MT. And we get a life on the final one, which will go right here. <laughs> we get a life again. <laughs> Dude. Let's go through the middle here. 300 MT turns into 600. Final pick. We're still alive. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Uh, right, can we get to... Hang on, how can I get to that level there? There we go, get in the middle here. A shoe pack, and it's again plus one, dude. We're never going to die on this board. Hey, diamond shoe pack, it was worth not dying. Where's this diamond contract pack at, though? God damn it. Oh, now I messed it up. I can't make this symmetrical. That's so sad. Um, please give me another plus one here, 2K. Please. Oh, god damn it. All right, well, there we go. That is the end of our level 36 Central. That's the end of the season, Ascension 1, for season the end of the century board for season one. Words, I can talk. Wasn't great, but it is what it is. Here is our Dominique Wilkins uh, player pick option pack thing from the locker code. Uh, silver glue hand, silver fast twitch. I guess we've got to take Sapphire Dominique here. I can only assume he's going to be the most valuable, and I don't think I have him already in before I do. No, I don't have him already, so yeah, can't complain at that. A one clamps of 2,500. Decent, and then we add in even more playbooks to the collection. Right, let's go ahead and see what goodies we've got over here. So, I don't really care about these Emerald player packs. As long as they're a new card for me, then that's all good. Are there any teams that are expensive? No. I've already got Steve Francis. Nets are the only ones that are expensive, but it has to be a gold Nets player. And obviously, we can't get gold cards out of these. Second one is going to be a dupe, isn't it? Because I think I've got most of them. Yeah, that's Embiid. Sapphires. Now, I don't have many Sapphires. And there are still some that have a lot of value. Steph Curry springs to mind. Steph, please. Sean Kemp. He won't have value, but we'll take it. Right, let's go for the Diamond Shoe Pack. It doesn't really mean all that much. I'd like to see some Jays here because uh, Melo's going to come out and he needs some Jordans. We do not get Jordans. We get some Pumas. Hey, it is what it is. Can't complain. Can't complain of the Diamond Consumers Pack. Please have a Diamond Contract in. A Diamond Contract is like 30k right now. Or be, I don't know, a good Diamond 3-point boost, please. Oh, plus 4 shot IQ. That is painful. Plus 4 shot IQ. Why you got to do me like that, 2k? Look at these boosts. Shot IQ. Post hook. The dunk is good and the mid-range is good. But damn, we've got two absolute stinkers right there. That is very sad. Right, I'm going to come back to you guys in a little bit. And uh, we'll see what Demar Rosen sells for. And we'll see about the new XP that 2K dropped today. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, we are back. And a lot has happened. So, MT, Demar Rosen has sold. So it's going to be going up quite a bit. Card collector level, flying. Yeah, that's right. We've got Michael Cooper. And then not only have we got Michael Cooper, we've also then pushed up to 750 cards as well, which is just a ball, so it's nothing crazy. But we are now uh, going to be pushing up to 800, which is Diamond Shoe and Boost. It's, it is what it is. 25k, not bad, not mad. That is what I want to see. And we're only 150 away right now, so let's go card collecting OP. So what we played, we did some more spotlights today. We are now through 12 challenges for Luca, so not bad. Maybe one or two more days and Diamond Luca will be with us, which is very nice. We did play in the draft. I've actually lost my first game of draft in 40. I was 41 and 0, then we took a loss. And I'm not going to lie, I, I I mean, the draft is dreadful. Emerald Michael Adams is my best point guard, and then Emerald John Rand is my backup point guard. It's just a dreadful game mode right now. It really is. Just using these base level players with people just hard off balling down in the paint with how strong the AI defense is, it just ain't fun for nobody. Here is a my player or my team customization pack, which came from my career. No idea was in here. It is going to be quick first step silver. Let's go. Not mad at it. And here is Amethyst Michael Cooper, which is definitely somebody that I am excited for. So I'm a little bit down right now about the draft. I'm not going to lie. 
the fact that it's going to take them six weeks, you know, once a season to up, actually update the positional packs, that you can still only pick three, and your chances are you're going to be stuck with some real stinkers. It doesn't make for a happy gameplay. It doesn't make for fun gameplay, that's for sure. But there is Amethyst Michael Cooper. It was a very, very strong defensive card. Down here, DeMar DeRozan did sell for 100k on the dot. It is what it is. And then Ray Allen Amethyst, we got his XP done and sold him for 41,000 MT. So back over 200k in a healthy spot with a lot of cards now in the collection. So bronze basketballs, we can lock those in. Silver basketballs, we can lock those in. And the gold basketballs, we just need one more to be able to lock it in. And the reason I'm locking them in is because... We're going to go for the fireball. We're going to go for the holographic ball. We're going to go for the unicorn ball. Uh, we always do it every year. We've got the fireball in 2K20. We've got a fireball in last year and the holographic ball last year. They don't cost too much. I pay nothing for all these basketballs. I don't suppose at any point this year they're going to fly in value. So, uh, yeah, I really don't mind that at all. And if we come down here now, the T3 rewards, we need the fireball and the disco ball to get the unicorn ball. To get the fireball and disco ball, here's the fireball. You need the holographic vintage beach and then the pink diamond, amethyst and diamond. And there's the holographic. You need the bronze, silver, gold, emerald, ruby, sapphire. So all over the place. It really is. But uh, yeah, <laughs> unicorn ball, I mean, why not, I guess? Why not? So down here, yeah, just one basketball left, one logo left. Not that many playbooks, about half the arenas, a few more custom floors. Not many things left to go and uh, in terms of the actual cards themselves players yeah we're pretty stacked on most of them most golds are here already there's only a few golds left and then it's just rubies and amethyst which i don't want to buy right now so i made brilliant progress today i bought hundreds of cards and i think it's going to slow down very quickly because uniforms are very very expensive and they're not even that many uniforms in the game right now so I feel like where we are is maybe where we're going to have to stay for a little while until 2K add in like 2021 Series 1, which shouldn't be too long. It'll be another like 450 cards. Hopefully they add in a heat check as well. I mean, 900 cards at once. That'd be huge. Because I know people are already at like 1,500. Straight away, I'll put them down here about 2,500. They'll be able to get Galaxy Opal Iggy. And we'll be able to see what these mystery players are at 1,900 and 2,300, which would be very cool. Indeed, so a little bit more progress, 10,000 XP to go until a diamond contract, which is obviously 30,000 MT, not mad at that, and the account is in a very good place, and the card collecting level is, or card collecting, is well underway. So that's going to do it for today's episode, hope you guys have enjoyed, as usual, please like, subscribe, I'll see you next time, and peace.